Hi, it's Yuka. Well, today I'm gonna share about the cost for traveling Japan. Uh, well, I've been asked so many times, you know, how much does it cost to travel travel around Japan? Well, as you can imagine, it totally depends. It totally depends on what kind of travel you want to do and um, what kind of thing you're going to try. So, uh, it's going to be, you know, a lot. There are tons of things I need to cover. So, I don't think I can put everything in this video, one video. So, um, I will make another video. So, um, in this video, I will talk about accommodations in Japan. So, stay tuned! Actually, there are uh, many types of accommodations you can choose from. Japanese style, Western styles, or uh, something like unique styles. And of course, the accommodations for budget travelers. And in this video, I will talk about four different types of accommodations. The first one, hostels and dormitories. For the budget travelers, there are uh, hostels and dormitories. And uh, you can find Japan youth hostels all across Japan and other hostels in big cities. And they usually feature shared bedrooms and uh, facilities uh, in return for low rates. And then hostels usually uh, charge 2,000 yen to 4,500 yen per person per night. Usually dormitories are shared four to eight people uh, with you know like double storied bunk beds and then uh, some hostels offer a uh, Japanese style room where you can sleep in futon on the tatami floor and also uh, some hostels offer you a private room with uh, extra a couple thousand yen at hostels you cannot expect bed making services uh, toilets and the bathroom are usually shared Although some rooms have them inside of the room with extra premium rate. Amenities are so limited. So you may have to bring your own, you know, soap, shampoos, uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, towels, and bath towels. Uh, you may, you might be able to buy them out there or you can go to the convenience stores. But I've got a question before, one question. Uh, he couldn't find any bath towels around the, uh, you know, at the uh, convenience stores or supermarket. So um, if you want to buy bath towels, uh, I think you'd better go to the uh, department stores. Meals, especially breakfast, is included at some hostels or available at an extra fee. And some hostels allow you to cook your own meals in a shared kitchen that is equipped with simple cooking tools. Almost all hostels feature a common room for guests to socialize. Travelers uh, exchange information with other travelers at the common area. And uh, the room is usually equipped with a TV and a PC for all to use and free Wi-Fi though and some hostels yes and some not so I recommend you to check in advance and you might think Japan is a safe country so yeah you can leave your variables wherever you want or in the room just in, the, in your backpack no 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 nobody knows what happens so please 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 keep your variables in the safe the hostels offer. You can book them through online and I will put the link in the description below. And the second, um, if you don't want to share bathroom with other hotel guests, you can consider staying at the reasonable price hotel. We call it business hotel. The charge is typically from 5,000 yen to 10,000 yen uh, per night for a single room. And um, many hotels have also like twin and double rooms for typically uh, 7,000 yen to 12,000 yen. And I can say rooms are small. Yes, they are small. There are chain business hotels at all major cities in Japan. And um, 
Each of them offer uh, their specialities. For example, some business hotels have onsen. Basic amenities such as soap, shampoo, uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, and uh, uh, laser, uh, cotton buds, uh, shower cap, and uh, towels and bath towels are normally provided. Most rooms also come with the television, uh, air conditioner, uh, telephone, hair dryer, uh, and an empty refrigerator. And also water boiler with complimentary green tea bags. And they might have a system, uh, you know, you need to buy prepaid card to watch TV. And uh, uh, laundry is usually available with fee and uh, if you want to use iron you can rent it and third one of course there are fancy high-end hotels super luxury <laughs> well they will charge you um, 12,000 yen uh, per person for a night as a minimum and up to you name it well you can find them in big cities and there is one more thing I want to mention. Well, I think it's very new in Japan though, uh, and, um, but, but I think uh, you are familiar with it already. That is Airbnb, and you can rent a room for the locals, and you can book through online. And I will put the link in the description below, just in case. So, do you get some ideas about accommodations in Japan? Well, I'll talk more about accommodations in the next video too. And I just hope you can get some ideas how to plan out traveling to Japan because obviously accommodation will be one of the biggest costs. Well, let me know what you think. Please leave a comment below. And don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you haven't liked me on my Facebook page, Please like my Facebook page too. Well, thank you for watching and I will see you soon on Experience Japan with Yuka. Bye. Well, again, thank you so much for watching and I am really sorry that I couldn't upload any videos for the last couple of weeks. And now I'm back in track so I can keep making videos and uploading them. So I really hope to see you soon. So see you then. Bye bye. Hi, it's Yuka. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about the uh, how you can get your Japanese yen. And did you watch my previous video? I explained how you can pay in Japan. So if you haven't watched it, make sure to watch it.